Gyms are placed throughout the Pokemon world as a test of strength for trainers to see if they can overcome the strategies of some of the best trainers around. Over the past few years, it has been my goal to create some unique teams that would test the trainers that came to challenge these gyms. These gyms have ranged from a variety of types to various different themes with multiple typings. And now it's time for a resurgence to see if we can create multiple gyms from the available 18 types. What's good, Chaotic Nation? It's your boy, Chaos here, and I've created a new twist for the My Gym series. Each of the monotype gyms I have created were made for a specific gym number. Some were easier because they were the first gym, others were incredibly difficult because they were the last gym, but what about the rest of the slots? I've only placed each type in a specific location along your Pokemon journey, so what if I made a gym for each type in each gym slot? These gyms will be created by deciding on a theme or a tactic for the gym, and then forming a team around that idea. We will also not be redoing any of the slots that have been taken by the previous gyms I have created, so if you've missed those, go back and watch those, that'll be where those slots are, they will not be redone or remastered for this series. The gym will also be capable of every battle mechanic that is available, which means I can choose between Dynamax, Mega Evolution, Z-Moves, Terrasilizing, and any future mechanic to include on these teams. Today, we are looking at the Dark-type gym. I've decided to create this team on the tactic of Hyper Offense. Dark is a type often associated with aggression, so it's only fitting for the Dark-type gym to be all-out offensive. This gym is technically not real, since there's not a physical gym building, because it's run by children. The gym trainers are common neighborhood kids who get into trouble while they run all over town. They will start out at the kids' hideout, but will immediately scramble when you show up to the doorstep. Most of these kids have bikes that allow them to ride away from you, so you will have to track them down and challenge them to a battle. Each kid will have part of a secret code that is necessary to get into the hideout, so you are required to defeat them all in order to progress. These trainers will have common Dark-type Pokémon such as Alolan Rattata, Alolan Meowth, Poochyena, Murkrow, and Houndour, and the like. Having defeated the group of kids, you can return to the base where someone from inside will ask you for the password. They will only let you in once you have defeated all of the members outside of the base, so again, don't try to skip them. The base is inside some sort of abandoned factory. Maybe it was a Pokeball factory, or some kind of dispensary for the items you would buy from a Pokemart, but there's really nothing discernible about what's there that you could tell what it used to be. You'll have to make your way through the factory and down to the main floor, which in the middle has a battle arena spray painted onto the ground. What are you doing here? Some voice will shout at you. You move forward to find a kid standing on the battlefield. How'd you even get in here in the first place? They never learn to keep their mouths shut, do they? I take it you're looking to tussle, so go ahead, bring it on! And the battle begins. As you might know from reading the title of this video, this is the first gym you will encounter in the game, so the team is relatively limited. I'll lead off with a Carvana at level 11. Carvana knows Aqua Jet, Bite, and Focus Energy. It's good to note that this Mon has Speed Boost as its ability, so if you fail to take it out quickly, it can easily spiral into an incredibly difficult matchup. Also, Aqua Jet is a priority move, so you're going to be taking hits from this Pokémon. My final Pokémon is Sneasel, which knows Faint Attack, Ice Shard, Quick Attack, and Taunt. Sneasel will have Inner Focus, so you can't flinch it with something like Fake Out, and it will be holding a Citrus Berry in order to heal itself. Between these two Pokémon, you will have the challenge of making the old saying, where the best offense is a really great defense, if you want to have a shot at beating this team. As I said, Hyper Offense, this team is meant to hurt, meant to be difficult, and meant to bring power immediately from the beginning. After you defeat me, I yell, No fair! I'm supposed to be the strongest kid around! Quickly, I will come to my senses and say, I guess you're the real deal. Take this badge to show that you've beaten me. And I'll give you the hoodlum badge. And the TM for taunt. To make use of. Don't lose that badge, because I'm not giving you another one of those things for free. Since the gym leader is just a kid, I don't really have a particular story arc like I've had with some of the previous gym leaders. I have no idea so how this character would work in the future. Most likely you'd only ever see them again if you challenge something like the Battle Tower or something along those lines. Because they are just a kid, and I don't really expect them to be too ambitious with a character design for a child. Well, that's my take on a Dark-type gym if it were the first gym you would encounter in a game. 
Let me know what you thought about this video and let me know if you like this new twist with the My Gym series. I've had a great time creating these gyms in the past and I'm really looking forward to making more gyms in the future. Honestly, I'm scrambling for ways to make this series come back because I've really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping this twist works for you. You can also let me know if there's a typing or a gym number you'd like me to do next. They don't have to be in tandem. It could be one or the other, or you could be like, oh, I'd like to see a third gym or maybe even a fire gym. You can give me a number and a type at the same time. They don't have to go together. I have a few ideas already for what I want to do, but I'm kind of curious to see what feedback I'll get from this video and maybe what types or what gym slots you would like to see covered next. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. As I mentioned earlier, if this is your first gym creation video you've seen from me, I have plenty more of them that have been released on the channel. I recommend you go check out the whole playlist. You can find them in that in the description down below. And while you're down there, make sure you check out my socials. I'm on plenty of other platforms creating content and trying to form community spaces. So make sure you're taking advantage of those opportunities to connect with me and our community in the other places off of the platform of YouTube. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'm Chaos, signing off. Stay safe. And as always, burn it up. <laughs>